You've all been in that situation, I'm sure. Now watch this. After you've watched this video, you will never have to worry about another page turn ever again. A few months ago, I started doing weekly live organ recitals here on YouTube on this very organ. Now, as a one-time cathedral organist, I'm used to turning my own pages, and I'm used to uh, playing the important notes and missing out the unimportant notes. But inevitably, there are some pieces where that just isn't possible, no matter which hand I used, something important was being missed. So I started to look around online for PDF um, viewers. At the time I was using a Microsoft Surface and they required, you know, either scrolling with, the, with your finger or tapping the screen like so. A fairly good solution. Then I found an application called Mobile Sheets which was designed for sheet music and you can annotate it with, um, with your pen if you have one of these. A good solution and I used that for a while. But I was getting tired of using my hand to touch the screen because I was still having to take my hand off the keyboard to turn the page. So, a bit more hunting around. I ended up buying an iPad and on the iPad is an application called 4Score. And this is what I use to display my music. So just like mobile sheets, you can indeed touch the screen with your finger and it will turn. And you can also annotate with your pencil. But what it does do, which mobile sheets does not do, is recognize facial gestures. And this is how I turn pages using this application. It was only after viewing a barely viewed YouTube video of someone demonstrating the face gesture feature in Fourscore that I decided to take the plunge and spend the £14.99 to buy it from the App Store. I couldn't really find anything else online about this um, feature. I couldn't find any demos, so I was a little bit dubious as to how well it would work. So not only did I have to pay almost £15 for the app, I then have to pay another uh, £9.49 for the pro version of Fourscore. So you pay essentially £15 for the app itself, and then a further £10 a year uh, for the pro version. Okay, so I thought this is a bit of a gamble, but hey, it's only £10. If it's rubbish, at least I've tried it. But I'm glad I spent £10 on it because it's blooming brilliant. So once you've paid your um, subscription, you then get access to the face gestures in Fourscore. Now there are two gestures which Fourscore allows you to use. Let's start with the one I don't use. Head turn. So this obviously works by when I turn my head. It only seems to do it when I look left. Look right. There we go. It's because I wasn't quite central. The thing is, when you're using these gestures, you have to have the confidence in them that they're going to work. And look, being an organist, we're, we're forever looking left, we're forever looking right, we're forever looking down, looking everywhere, really. I think a head turn for an organist ain't gonna do it. So the other alternative is mouth movement. And this is what I use. 
it recognizes the way you move your mouth. You have to move your mouth, and this is going to be rather embarrassing for me to do, but you have to move your mouth left or right. So, by default, this invert button actually is turned off. Just not inverted. So watch these, but these, these funny blobs on the screen here as I move my mouth. It's like a funny game or something, isn't it? Okay, so by default, if I just go back to the main screen here, and if I twitch my mouth right, the page will turn. And if I twitch it left, he says, it turns back. Just bear in mind, I'm not quite sat central uh, in, front, in front of the screen. Now, I thought instantly I tried it out and I, and I thought, I'm getting confused by this because as an organist, well, as, as, a, as a musician, the music naturally flows from left to right. So the flow is from left to right. And by the time you get to the bottom here, onto the next page, the motion, the physical motion from your eyes and your head is from right to left. Now, by default, these gestures are asking me to move my mouth to the right whilst my eyes and head are looking left. It's a bit like doing the old tummy and the head pat. It was all backwards for me. So luckily there isn't an invert button, which means that if I twitch my mouth to the left, the page turns. So my entire face, my mouth, my eyes and my head are all moving left as the page turns. To me, that makes far more sense. And I'm surprised really that that isn't the default option. The good news is that you can calibrate it, calibrate it, sorry. You can uh, turn the sensitivity up and down. I've turned the sensitivity for the right gesture right down because I really, really need to turn back in my music. It's always forwards. If there's a repeat, by the way, the application will allow me to replicate the previous pages on the next page. So that's how I get around that little conundrum. Well, I'll be honest with you, there are times when it doesn't work. I'm the sort of person who if I'm playing and anything happens around me and my concentration is taken away from the music, I find that really, really off-putting. Which is why sometimes I prefer to just turn my own pages, even if it's with sheet music, because I can just do it myself. I know what I'm doing. If it doesn't respond, it can be off-putting. You have to get used to it. You have to get used to how much you move your mouth and also how far in advance to do it. You don't want to, because it, it, it's, it's so quick, it's so instant. You know, with, with, with a page turner, you have to have that sort of action, reaction type thing. Yes, please. There it is. But with this, it's twitch, you know, um, instantly turn. The only slight drawback about using the iPad for the facial recognition feature is it uses, which is obvious, it's going to, isn't it? It's obviously going to use the, the front camera, which on the iPad, it by default, is on the top. I find, though, and again, this is a bit of a problem, really, with where your physical head is at the time when you're on the last bar of the page. Naturally, as a player, you're going to be looking down towards that last final bar rather than looking unless you're wearing glasses and you like to look down under the bottom of them you're going to be looking down so you the camera won't be able to see your mouth let's try it doesn't 
doesn't work. So, the annoying thing. It would be fine if the power button wasn't on the bottom, because this happens all the time. So yes, I would highly recommend buying four score. It's 15 quid in the UK, or just short of, and a tenner for the yearly subscription. Well worth the money, in my view. So when you next see me on the channel twitching my mouth, I don't just have an itch or something stuck in the beard. That's just a standard given scenario. I'm actually turning the page. Look out next time you watch, you see me play. It looks rather funny, but it works a dream when it works. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been useful. And until next time, I will say cheerio. Goodbye.